And hi there, and welcome to another episode of Culinary Alchemy, and I am your alchemist, Cassie H. Today we are working on spaghetti squash. We're not actually doing a real recipe, but we're going to talk a bit about spaghetti squash, and I've got two different, actually technically three different ways you can prepare it, uh, because I have a lot of people i have been like, how do you do spaghetti squash? And I'm like, it's easy, you do this. So now I'm going to just refer them to a video. Hey, here's how you do spaghetti squash. So I've got three spaghetti squashes, one for each of the different ways to that I know how to make it. If you guys know more, please comment below and uh, love to hear from you. So let's get started. So I uh, got grabbed one of the spaghetti squashes and I've just put like a dollop of uh, dish soap on it and I washed it all off because you never know what's in a produce department and you really do want to wash everything you buy from there because it's kind of disgusting sometimes. So we're going to start with the easy method. So you take your squash, and you will need a squash, cutting board, a knife, and a spoon! Very tick-like. Ah, geeks. So, what I do here is I'll start by cutting off the top. And this helps if you have a sharp knife. And patience! There we go. Just set that aside. You don't need that anymore. And there's still a hair on there. And you cut it in half. So if you have a nice knife, you can just go from the top to bottom. Lost the grip on the tip there. There we go. So you split it in half like this. Now here are the guts, and you do not need those, which is why you have a spoon, and I prefer a big metal one. That way you can just get it out pretty quickly. You wanna get out these little stringy bits but not all of them, because they won't actually kill you. They're just, you know, don't taste super great. Like that. And you take your, your half a squash, and you can either put it cut side down or cut side up. It doesn't much matter, but I prefer cut side down. That way, if something burns, it's going to be the skin, and you're going to peel that off anyway. So it doesn't much matter. So get this other one, and spaghetti squash seeds actually taste pretty good if you uh, clean them up and uh, toast them with some olive oil, and then eat them. Or you could plant more spaghetti squashes. I have done that too, just not this year. There we go, almost out. And some people put some uh, olive oil or oil of some kind on the outside of the squash. I've not found that it ever matters all that much. You just put them on your baking sheet. And I've got my oven set for 350 degrees. And I'm going to put these in for about, all, about 50 minutes. And then I'm going to start stabbing them and checking if they're done. So for the moment, these are going in the oven. This one, once again, you cut to the top off and then you cut it in half. And I've gutted it already. So I'm going to work with this. Now we're going to boil this spaghetti squash. So we're going to cut it into manageable chunks, and then you have to peel it. Now, if you have a really cool, like, vegetable peeler, then you can totally use that. I do not. <laughs> so I have to use my chef's knife to do this. And I would advise against speed when you are cutting it, or when you are peeling with a knife. Or maybe get a, a small, this is called a bird's beak paring knife, and it is reversed, so the blade is actually on this side, not this one. Um, you could probably use a regular paring knife too, but just go very slow, and you will hopefully not cut yourself. You've probably seen a lot of, um, you know, when your mom or your grandma cook, and they use this kind of thing. I always went to, like, church dinners with my mom and grandma, and this is how they would peel apples or whatnot, like that. So you take your chunk, and you put it in a pot. And this is the most labor-intensive way that I have to cook a spaghetti squash, but it's also really good. So what you do is, when you get all your chunks in there, you just gotta cover it with water and uh, boil it for, like, until they're soft. And I will show you what that looks like when it's there.
And that sound is my dog being curious. Just pull these out of the oven about like a minute ago, not even. Um, and you can see there's big spots there, that's okay. So you take your fork, and it could just be any kind of fork, these are my long ones, and just stab into the flesh. And you see how it goes through pretty easily. That means this squash, oh no, is ready. I like to just stab multiple times just to be sure. An extra 10 minutes never killed anybody. Cool. So now we're going to let these sit for about 15 minutes and let them steam. I've got another squash here in the sink because I washed it and it's all ready now. This is our third squash now. And this is just going to go whole in the oven at 350. This is going to take a little longer than an hour, but this is um, just the third way to cook a squash. It's pretty dang simple. It's literally, you wash it, you place it in your oven. I'm going to take out that rack and place it in my oven. And then you let it cook for like an hour and 10 minutes. And then you start stabbing it like I just did. And when it goes through easy, it's done. Oh my gosh. It's hard. Oh. All right. So this here has been going for about an hour, roughly. And the spaghetti squash and just cut roughly into chunks here. You can tell when it's done. Let me drain the water there. Okay. When you take some of the squash and you just kind of gently press on it and it starts flaking for no reason. This one might not be fully, yeah, there you go, you see that? That means it is done. It might actually be slightly overdone. Right, so grab a bigger one, just to double check. Oh, this is very done. Okay, there. Coming up nice and easy. So, I'm going to turn this off. Disconnect it from its heat source. I've got a colander set up in my, my uh, sink here. I'm just going to drain this. If you were making a soup or something, you could save the uh, water, I guess, if you wanted to. I am not overly bothered. There we go. And that part's done. And then once that's a bit cooler, you can just flake it up with a fork. And for these here, I let this cool until I can grab the skin uh, without needing a, a um, something to grab with it because it's very, it was very hot. So you just stick with your fork and you flake it up. And you can see how it's already just noodling. And I've got a bowl here so I can just randomly tip some in there. Right, and then just flake. I apologize, I'm used to angling this towards myself when I flake it, and it's kind of weird to show you guys. Now when you've got the spaghetti squash at this point, it is ready for you to do whatever you want to it. Uh, one of my favorite things is to just toss it with butter and uh, some salt and uh, a bit of cheese. I make kind of just a light mac and cheese, spaghetti and cheese, whatever you want to call it. My husband likes it when I make tuna mac with this, which is just adding a, a can or two of tuna or, you know, fresh tuna if you have that kind of money and time. Um, and dealing with it like that. It's uh, very versatile. Just the other day I made some spaghetti sauce and I, I mixed some uh, spaghetti squash with actual spaghetti squash, spaghetti sauce. And it, you know, it was like regular spaghetti. Just tastes a bit different. It's awesome. And honestly, once you pull the other uh, spaghetti squash out of the oven, uh, you'd just be doing almost the exact same thing once it cools. Easy peas. Now this spaghetti squash is still a bit warm. And 
the shell is very flexible. Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm just trying to get it all out of the shell. That way I'm wasting as little as possible. And this bit here you would just toss with a fork. So you can see there. Put some butter in there. And that is ready to eat. And pull this piece out maybe. There we go. Yay! All right, when this was in the oven, I stabbed it several times with my fork. You can see there's, there's four holes here. And then I stabbed it right here and the skin started peeling apart. But this is very much done. Um, it's also very hot. This is almost too hot to touch for more than a few seconds. So I've created a steam vent here. I don't know if you guys can see the steam on camera, but this is steaming like crazy. Um, we're just going to let this steam actually for a few minutes, let it cool, and then I'm just going to um, peel it apart and uh, take out the innards with a spoon as best I can and flake it like all the others. Just another easy way to cook spaghetti squash. And I'm going to toss some of these in butter and some of them in bacon fat and start eating spaghetti squash. So I hope you guys like this episode. It's, you know, spaghetti squash. It's not very, very intimidating. It's just you know, takes uh, a little bit of practice and you'll have it down to a science. So if you like this episode, give us a like up there, subscribe to the channel, give me comments below if you've got something to add to a spaghetti squash conversation or if you want me to do a spaghetti squash recipe. And uh, as thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Bye!